Hey there, welcome to Financial Wellness University. I am your coach, your teacher, Joe Brown. And today I want to talk to you about improving yourself financially. And improving yourself altogether will help yourself improve financially. But there's a quote that uh, I particularly like. It's from a businessman, author, motivational speaker. His name is T. Harv Ecker. And he says, your income will grow only to the extent that you do. Let's explore that. As uh, T. Harv Ecker said, your income will grow only to the extent that you do. How do you grow yourself? How, how can you get better each and every day? Well, one of the ways we have an indication of what our future is going to be like is by evaluating our daily activities. If a man or woman eats fried food and pastries and all kinds of unhealthy things every day, it's not going to be difficult to figure that their future is going to be plagued with health conditions like obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure. But if you flip that script and say every day you ate fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, you drank a lot of water, you exercise, your future is going to be better. You're going to be healthier. You're going to have less uh, visits to the doctor. And we can translate that financially. If you're the kind of person that you keep track of your financial transactions, if you're the kind of person that saves before you spend, if you're the kind of person that looks for opportunities your future is going to be much brighter financially because it's not left up to happenstance. It's not left up to chance. Even if opportunities don't come along every day or regularly, if we prepare ourselves, when preparedness meets opportunity, Sometimes that's, that's the formula for moving ahead. But if an opportunity comes and you're not prepared, that's where we live a life of frustration and, and uh, mediocrity. So if we want to explore that quote by T.R. Ecker a little bit more, you grow only to the, your, your income will grow only to the extent that you do. That means if the average person is reading only one book a year or two books a year, that means I want to be more than average. I want to read one book a month. That's 12 books. That's 12 times more than the average person is reading, right? I mean, there's people that read one book a week, you know, and that's that's great. But just, just to keep it realistic, just to keep it normal, one book a month will give you 12 books a year. And in 10 years, you read 120 books. Now, if you tell me that you read 120 books in 10 years and the average person has read only 10, 
don't you think you'll learn and know a lot more than that average person? You, your income will grow to the extent that you do. Now, when you have that kind of knowledge and you start to put it in place, the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. Now, if nothing else, you can take that knowledge that you you gain, right? Take notes, set that con concise, put that in, in a concise uh, format and produce hey, a seminar on what you learn. Produce a book on what you learn. You've grown and now you've provided an opportunity for your income to grow with your growth. That's what I believe he meant when it says your income will grow only to the extent that you do. I mean, how can you go to, say, your employer and say, well, I don't know any more than I knew five years from now. Uh, I don't like to go to training, uh, you know, I really try my best just to be average, but can I get a raise or can I get a promotion? Or the flip is I've distinguished myself among my coworkers and now I know so much more than them that I have a specialty within my unit is it possible to create a position that so I can work within that specialty or can I get a, a, a promotion to reflect that expertise that I've, I've developed or even better is it take that expertise and create your own business. But the idea is that income and personal growth kind of Move with one another. Doesn't mean your income is going to grow automatically. Maybe not. But over time, as you learn more, as you grow, as you become a better person, your, your ability to earn more will go rise, as you, if you will, with that knowledge with that increased knowledge will be increased income. It's not just theoretical. I know it in my own life. As I learned more, as I grew as a person, I found different ways to increase my income. And I've applied the knowledge. So it's not just growing and learning, but applying what you learn in a way that transforms your life for the long run. I started off by saying, you know your future by your daily habits. What are your daily habits? Are you reading regularly? Are you exercising regularly? Are you learning about your field? Are you networking with people within your chosen profession, within your specialty? Are you going back to school to learn some of the latest uh, technological advancements to your industry? Even the best companies in the world have to always innovate to stay at the top. They can't say, well, we're here and now we can relax and, and, and never have to change. Change is constant. But we have to change for the better. And we'll see. We'll see it. We'll see it grow. We'll see it change. If nothing else, our attitude, our confidence will grow, which will create opportunities 
if you're in an interview and you have confidence, people see that. If you have knowledge about something and you begin to have a conversation, people can recognize, wow, you really know what you're talking about. I remember when I uh, started my job right out of college, it was dealing with architectural engineering and drafting and, and, and interior design and, and art, you know, and con building construction and all that. And we used computer uh, aided design, AutoCAD is, is commonly known. And I had an interest in AutoCAD. I had an interest in drafting. But when I started that job, I started to read books. I went to seminars about AutoCAD. I went to conventions. And when, within, a very, within a very short period of time, I was the office expert at AutoCAD. So I, I went in a very short period from knowing hardly anything about AutoCAD to being the expert in my office, right? So it wasn't difficult when promotion time came to say that person should move up, right? It, it wouldn't be difficult. And if they didn't want to move me up, I would use that knowledge and expertise to look somewhere else. Which is one of the things I recommend anyway is always have several streams of income. So, hey, have something. And that second stream could be anything, but I recommend have something in your income repertoire, if you will, that you control that you the boss of. Hey, I hope this helps. If it did, give me one of those likes, thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I ask that you do so, so that uh, you will be a part of uh, getting these videos when they come out. And uh, put, hit that little bell next to subscribe and it will give you a notification. And uh, I thank you for visiting the channel and uh, God bless.